Hey kids, welcome to Unit 5, Lesson 3, Column Major Traversals, Exercise Number 2. We have a debug the program. The owner of Project Mercury Pasty's food truck wants to find the total inventories for each dessert. They have the following values. We got a bunch of values there, where each row represents a unique truck in the business, and each column represents the number of cakes, cookies, and pies. The get desserts inventory method is supposed to return a string containing the total inventories for each dessert, but it has an error. Fix and fix the error in the program. I think we found an error right there. I think they went to the Mr. Rhodes English class. I think that's supposed to be find. Let's take a look at our code. We have our 2D array inventories. We have our number right there. We're instantiating a new object from the owner class called food truck. It is passing along the inventories. And then we're printing off the food truck object and it's calling the get desserts inventories method. Over here, we're getting our inventories 2D array created. Our constructor takes that 2D array. And then we have our get desserts inventories, and this is where we have to debug. It has a nested for loop. It has rows on top for the outer loop. And whenever we see row as an outer loop, we know it is a row major traversal. As it's progressing through our 2D array, it's going to add the inventories on each of the inner for loop. Then it's going to return those totals. What do I think's the error? I think it's adding up as a row major traversal instead of a column major. So when I hit run, I think I'm gonna get these numbers added up. Let's see if that's what's happening. And you can see we're getting four totals instead of three. So we're getting the individual trucks inventories added up but we're not getting the desserts. How can we fix that? We're just gonna switch our 2D array or nested for loop around so columns are on the outside. That means this becomes column, this becomes column, and so does this. We also need to switch the array we're going to look through. And now we're going to look through the column array. So we need to tell it the length of the index to look at. We're going to take away the index from here and the columns become rows. That easy. We just converted from a row major to a column major traversal. Well, let's see if we're right though. Now we're getting our three totals instead of four. And if you add up these numbers, you will get 94, 58, and 87. Key takeaway from this lesson is identifying the differences between a row major and a column major traversal. Simplest way, the way I always think about this is whatever's on the outside loop is what determines what the major traversal it is. If columns are on the outside, then it's a column major traversal. If it's on the inside, it's a row major. And just remember that index zero on the array we're looking through travels with the column. Hopefully this video helped you understand column major traversals a little more as always, if you have any questions, come see me, kids. Otherwise, I'll see you on the next video. See you later. Bye. Bye.